Today I'm going to show you five tips for uh, simplifying your workflow and speeding up your mixing and editing process in Reaper. First tip is uh, concerning uh, volume automation. This is loosely based on a video that uh, Kenny Joya did a few days back. So what we'll need to do here is set up a custom action. Go into the action list. A new custom action. We'll search for insert four. Insert four envelope points at time selection. You can double click or drag. And once we've inserted those uh, points, what I will want to do is clear the time selection. Ah, here it is. Remove time selection. This will save us one uh, keystroke. Just name your uh, action on what you want. I call it four points in clear time. And let's add a keyboard shortcut for that. I'm going to use F because I don't use that for anything else. And that's done. Let's add some uh, volume automation to this uh, track here. Make a time selection, press F, and we can then uh, adjust the volume automation for that uh, section with the one keystroke and just uh, using your mouse or controller or whatever you use. Very simple and speeds up uh, volume automation a heck of a lot. Second thing we're going to uh, do here now is um, reversing the panning on reverb returns. This is a very popular trick on uh, guitar reverbs and uh, things like that where you want some reverb on it but uh, on the other side of where it's panned. So let's um, get a reverb uh, plugin going here. Let's do the Verb Suite Classics from uh, Slate Digital. Send our guitar to that one. <laughs> Now we have a stereo reverb, so we're going to change a couple of things here. What we want to do is uh, send our guitar in mono. So what we'll need to do is press this button here. We now get a mono send. Another thing we can do there is just replug the output here and switch left and right. That's what we do, uh, say if we are sending on a stereo signal and want to uh, change the panning of it. Just replug uh, the output of the uh, effects. The next thing now is uh, what I've shown in earlier videos, and this is copying and pasting whole effects chains in two clicks. Say if you're uh, doing an analog style uh, setup on the mix and you want to start off with uh, that effects change on a lot of tracks to begin with, this is very easy and you do need to have the SWS extension installed for this. And here we have the paste effects chain to selected tracks. Make sure our uh, track here is selected and I'll set this up in my toolbar up here, copy effects. And then select the tracks we want those effects on and then paste. Couple of seconds and they're ready to go. This is a massive time saver for uh, setting up a mix uh, template or a mix uh, session. Here's another one that can speed up editing a whole lot. And this has to do with uh, splitting items. Normally when you're doing editing, find where you want to split, click up here in the ruler then split the track i'm going to search split item under mouse cursor and select right 
this action is gold for um, editing uh, voice over uh, tracks or uh, things like that. For some reason, by default, Reaper insists on deselecting your items once you've uh, done a split. So this is something that really helps with uh, speeding things up and uh, helping you not get too uh, frustrated while editing. So I'm going to be using the default uh, split command for this one. S. This way you don't have to click anywhere first. Before you split your items, just have the mouse cursor where you want it. Click S. Now finally, we're going to um, have a look at uh, side chaining. This is something that's uh, well known to uh, people who have uh, used Reaper for a while, but uh, something that newbies uh, might not uh, be aware of, and that is uh, the quickest way to side chain in uh, Reaper. Let's just add a compressor on the channel here that we know is capable of uh, side chaining. Let's take the API 2500. The way to tell is if it has four in. Instead of having to go in through the routing button and set up send to three and four and things like that, it's ridiculously easy. Just click and left drag from the IO button onto the plugin interface and it's already set up. This is a lesson to every DAW uh, company out there. Easy as that. Hope you found some of these uh, tips helpful. I will be back with loads more stuff in the coming weeks. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the videos if you want to, and uh, go and support this channel on Patreon. It really helps uh, keeping the wheels uh, turning. And I'll see you in the next video.